my name is Jillian and this is Jillian Camps Arizona and today we're going to be talking about the final preparation video I have filmed three videos today I filmed a final bag checking final bag preparation video in which I describe every little thing that's in my bag I hate hiking videos that tell you how to hike and what they bring, but they don't actually show you what's in their physical bag before they leave. So today is August 29th. Tomorrow I leave for the Grand Canyon. I will be hiking for four days and these are the final preparation videos. So I made the one about the bag already, which you've probably seen. And I've also made one about the, fi the fi final food that I have uh, put together all the snack bags that I have, the quart bags that I'm using from Ziploc. Again, nobody's a sponsor in any of these videos, but I just thought that I had to show you what I'm bringing. You know, it's not the end all be all, but I think it's helpful to see what somebody else brings so that maybe you can get ideas too for your next trip. Today, we're gonna be talking about lists. I am a list person and I love making lists. So of course, you can imagine that I've made a final preparation checklist uh, for the Grand Canyon. So there's a couple things on here that I just wanted to bring to light that I have done today, or that I'm going to do today, that you, know, you should also keep these things in mind for your next backpacking trip. So I love lists, and I wanted to let you in on a little secret. I use this app not a sponsor, once again, called AnyList. And it's a very helpful app, actually. It allows you to make different types of lists and put all types of fun things on here about it. So in this one, uh, the only thing I have left is to, uh, which we're gonna talk about, condition my hair twice, shave, dryer sheets, etc., like that. And I also make different lists for hiking grocery lists, so to speak. You can see most of the stuff on there is crossed off, like my granola, the almond butter, which I showed in the previous video. So anyways, I'm a list person. If you just want to write it down physically on a piece of paper, that's okay too, you know, whatever floats your boat. But it's important to just keep certain things in mind for certain days before you leave for your big hiking trip. So. Uh, there's certain things that I like to keep in mind. So for today, uh, the things that I have to do is I have to cut my nails. My nails, I don't chew my nails or anything. They grow fast, they grow long. So I like to keep them fairly short when I'm hiking the Grand Canyon. And there is a phenomena that your toenails fall off if you're hiking strenuously. So don't even Google that, please. I, I can't even Google it, show you a picture. No, that will not be happening. I've never had that happen to me. However, I always, always cut my toenails before I go hiking. The day before, right before I go hiking, I always cut my toenails. Very important if you don't want them to fall off or whatever happens, I don't want to know. My brother's wife now, they're married, uh, her toenails <laughs> fell off when we hiked the Grand Canyon the first time. I don't want to talk about it. It was really gross and yeah. And the second thing on my list, uh, let's move away from that, shall we? The second thing on my list is my Spotify playlist. I have premium Spotify, again, not a sponsor. So get whatever music you want, load up your phone, load up your iPod, whatever you're bringing. If you still have an iPod, I don't even know. With whatever music you like to listen to, it's important, you know? I personally like listening to a variety of music and I have Spotify Premium, which allows me to download the music onto my phone free of charge because I paid a monthly premium for that. So again, not a sponsor, but just a suggestion you know, download it, you know, just regular to your phone via iTunes. However you want to move it to your phone, it's fine with me. Just be sure to have a lengthy library of things to listen to because once you get outside of the city that you're staying in and you get to the Grand Canyon, there's no cell service. So you're not going to be able to stream any free music or anything while you're up there, while you're hiking. Absolutely no cell signal. So bring whatever you have to. Bring CDs if you have to. Bring a CD player. I don't really care. And then I just have some 
you know, besides the toenail cutting thing or the nail cutting thing, I also like to do things like condition my hair twice before I go on the Grand Canyon. Uh, it just makes my hair feel softer for, I like to think that it lasts longer because I conditioned it twice. So I just like to be extra clean on the last day that I'm here at my house. I condition my hair twice. I'd be sure to scrub all, you know, extra of my body, extra on your toes, you know, not just let the water run down through it. Uh, I'd be sure to do all that type of stuff. The only other thing on my list was cleaning type of things. Uh, I wanted to, especially because I was hiking up until last weekend, I had to clean my water bladders basically before I go on this trip. I wanted to make sure to get them nice and clean right before I go, you know, very thoroughly clean, not just like quickly wipe it out with a little paper towel or whatever, no. Really clean it, make sure that uh, all the crap is out of it, you know, because sometimes it gets those mold and the little crevices that you can't get out. The only other thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, and I spoke about this in the, up in the video about the food where I kind of walked you through the snacks, is that I use my fitness pal in order to identify how many calories per day to use. So online there's a discrepancy. You know, people say that uh, you should eat between 3,000 and 4,000 calories. That's a big discrepancy. So I try to aim for three to 4,000 because we're hiking approximately 17 miles on the first day, another 14 miles on the second day, et cetera, et cetera. So, it's hard to figure out how many calories to eat because of the number you know it's quite a long distance and everybody needs a different number of calories so anyway so i just kind of rolled with 3,000 calories we're gonna find out if that works out and that is it so that's the final preparation checklist this was the final preparation video I'm going to the grand canyon tomorrow please feel free to wish me luck Next up are going to be the Grand Canyon vlogs after I get back. I plan on filming every day, even though I'm not taking the 3X's gimbal because it's too heavy, but I plan on filming every day and cutting together the days into the vlog trips. So thank you so much for watching this Jillian Camps Arizona video. Feel free to thumbs up this content if you like it and you want to see more like it. Also, if you're not currently following me and you want to follow me around, feel free to hit that subscribe button below, or you can like my page on Facebook. That's at Jillian Camps, Arizona. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.